I had the prettiest butt she ever seen. Tell them what we're doing. I can. Um, we're here for a submortoscopy, and she's checking for um, a blockage where they resected. I am back from my awake submortoscopy. Being awake was interesting. Thank you. They were laughing at me. The nurses and all that. Uh huh. What? Because I said, when Dr. Kim started, I said, "I'm sorry, we had to meet this way." <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, well, I meet everyone this way. You gonna be better to just go out the way we came? And so Probably had the prettiest butt she ever seen. They got to see my resection site. And I, I got to see where the actual sutures were. Oh, did you? Uh-huh. Oh, they're still there? Yeah. Hmm. Aren't that supposed to dissolve? Yeah. She used water instead of air and suctioned that out since I don't tend to move the air like did you, I should. Did you tell her to suction out the rest of the stuff that was in there too? <laughs> it was pretty clean in there because I haven't done feet in over a week and we had to do the enemas and suppositories for the prep. But, um, I mean, you could still see areas where there was like, there was a couple areas for stool. Originally there was one part that she saw that looked narrowed, but she thought that that was where like a dead end. She said when you do resection, sometimes you develop dead end spots to where it kind of veers off from the main path, so to speak. Mm. But then she went further up and it was wide open. Everything was just wide open once she found the correct path. Mm -hmm. And um, she saw my small bowel contracting in that moment. It was all twisting and turning. But my colon was dead, so she said that I'm pretty much presenting like the pseudo obstruction patients, where it's a functional problem and not any, it's not a mechanical issue. But basically, we're waiting on what to see what they say in DC when we go. Well, is it what you uh, thought it was going to be? Or I really didn't have any expectations. It scope was she said was even smaller than her finger. Did you um, feel it go up there? I felt it go up originally, but after that, I didn't really feel it. Yeah, you only have nerve endings for the first little bit, supposedly. That's why whenever you give patients, like, suppositories, like, once you get, like, that second knuckle, it, their butt just basically takes it. And the, it hurt when she was in the colon part. She mimicked the pain that I feel a lot. Did you tell her that? No. That's, like, useful. Well, she knew it was painful because I told her I told her that it hurt, but I didn't say it mimicked the pain that I feel. So it's nice to know that the problem isn't the resection necessarily. You've been blaming that resection for a very long time. Well, it worsened well, I the guess motility. It kind, it kind she has of about is. eight inches. Yeah, I have twenty centimeters of, of sigmoid. Sigmoid versus our three that we were thinking. It's more like eight. The purpose of the sigmoidoscopy was to check to see if there was an adhesion or a stricture at the resection site that is contributing to my obstruction episodes. There was none of that. However, I did have adhesions and strictures on the colon that they did remove back in September. It was on the pathology report, but thankfully my remaining bowel does not seem to have those same issues. I was really happy to see that the small bowel was contracting because when you are having that scope in your lower GI tract with the water that she was using to clean everything out with so that she can see, it's supposed to stimulate the bowel and my small bowel at that moment, although it has been confirmed that it is very, very slow, it happened to be contracting 
at that moment so that was nice to see but my colon was not giving that same response and as the gi doctor said it's pretty much dead okay help me learn where to park okay that's too small what's it say don't Public park access. or drive on turf park. keep right okay i just gotta keep my eyes on the road so we don't go tumbling down i feel like we're on a mountain <laughs> i'm a little paranoid <laughs> we're not on a mountain we are at the botanical gardens at a local college because Sylvina and I are supposed to be getting engagement pictures on April 5th and we're looking for a photo venue and I wanted to go for a floral theme since it's spring and the photographer had one suggestion but we checked that out. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Okay. So see that little asterisk that says you are here up in mm -hmm. the top right hand corner? The children's garden is clear over here. Okay, so what are we going toward? I don't have any idea how to get there. That means nothing to me. Do we have gas? Yes, a full tank. Okay. <laughs> Last time we got in the car we only had we hardly had yeah, gas. Yeah, Sean so. and I stopped and got it. Okay. We may have to call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Because I have no idea. I can get so deep in here that, that I lose sight of which way to get out. So, we chose our photographer. And we had our phone meeting with her. Her daughter also has a rare genetic condition. My voice is, like, going out. Why? Are you okay? Uh-huh. You don't feel symptomatic? Yeah, I'm just, my voice is just going out. And it's probably just because I've been a little bit more swelly today. That's what I don't want to hear. If you say it's because of allergies or the pollen, that's one thing. Oh, that it probably is the problem. Pollen. So we know I thought he was getting sick last night. I'll have to tell you that later. But anyways, yeah, her daughter has a, okay, a genetic condition. And you need to help me. So she's more understanding as to limitations. Jurassic Garden. We're right back. This where is we where started. we came. We are lost. We did a complete circle and we missed where we were supposed to be. Nobody's here except a bunch of college kids and their dogs. I kind of expected it to be more happening on a weekend. I woke up small one today and my hands and feet and a little bit on my cheeks. It has went down now but when my throat starts to swell my voice goes in and out and I think with all of the spring allergies it just set me off, and we had a lot of commotion yesterday. Yeah, they. I, I can push you around in there, but there doesn't. I mean, that's just. That doesn't seem to be anything that's picture worthy for engagement pictures. And anyway. well, Teddy Graham, what do you think? See, there are people walking. I just don't think it's the right blooming time yet. Well, you know? we it's, still have two weeks. It's creeping up on us, but it's not here yet. What's this house? Is that the Hanover house? I think so. Well, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what it's like inside. Oh, look at the bird feeders. Mm -hmm, that's what I was styling. That would just Big old fat beans. freak Danae out. Succulents and bees. Oh my goodness. Uh, this place is the weirdest state. I used to think that people who got stung by bees all the time, I don't even know what they were. I just thought that they were very 
They're not after you. You're more I scared than they are. You. Here's a butterfly. Bag. In Florida, they don't have these bees. They do too. They have bees, but they're like a sixteenth of the size of the bees around these here. These are bumblebees. It's a different type of bee. I thought that those people who got stung all the time were just crazy because they just go after them or something. But here I can totally see how it happens. I don't know what I did with my keys. In Florida, yeah. there's wasps. I can see how wasp stings happen because there are a lot of those. Before I moved here, I had only ever been stung by a yellow jacket and it's because I stepped on it. Oh my goodness, Teddy just tried to poop. I don't know, we don't even have a bag. Teddy. I'll have to try to see if I can take care of it when we get back to the car. You gotta be right there at you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm really starting to question my outfit choice. Attracting the bees. Yes. One touched me. He's normally really well behaved. Well, that's cool. Do you want to kind of sit right there? Oh, that's kind of cool. with that in the background. He's really thirsty. I don't think I'll have to give him some of my water, I guess. It's water. <laughs> you sure you don't want any more? Yeah, overall, it's I think it was a nice outing, but it's not photo, any kind of photo material. I think it's way too spread out and I'm not gonna have that kind of energy in me. Thank you.